Open this door at once, he demanded brazenly. Open up, I say. To his surprise, the door opened immediately, and he stepped inside the airlock. It closed behind him, and he waited for the inner door to open, but it did not. Instead, a harsh voice spoke from a loudspeaker set in the ceiling panel. Identify yourself. The doctor spoke sternly. I am a diplomatic messenger. I don't answer questions until I am properly received by a suitable person. You will answer now, snapped the voice. The doctor folded his arms, tilted his chin up defiantly, and remained silent. Unless you answer inside ten seconds, the voice continued. The atmospheric pressure will be reduced to zero. A perfect vacuum. The doctor's face filled with alarm. In that condition, your earthling body will explode. Countdown commences now. Tens, nines, eights. The doctor's eyes found the atmospheric level indicator by his side. The pressure was decreasing fast. If you insist, he shouted acidly. But I don't think much of your hospitality. The pressure gauge sank lower. I'm a scientist from the base. I want to help you. The level stopped sinking, and a second later it rose to normal. The inner door slid open, and the doctor found himself confronted by the Martian warlord inside the spaceship, flanking him with several other ice warriors. You are a scientist queried Varga coldly. You do not look like one. He gazed at the doctor's eccentric dress. He looks more like the human we destroyed, the scavenger, remarked Sondal sourly. He could be an imposter. We should destroy him also. If you kill me, you'll ruin any chance you might have of escape. Or perhaps you intend to stay inside this glacier permanently. Varga stepped forward, arrogantly. I am Varga, the Martian warlord. Explain how you found us. There are certain conditions to have to be met first, insisted the doctor. You are our prisoners. It is I who set conditions and ask questions. The extract you have listened to is from Doctor Who and the Ice Warriors by Brian Hales, as released by BBC Books. This is not an attempt at copyright infringement. It is merely just a vocal exercise where I can use my impersonations. Please support the BBC releases and I hope you enjoyed. Thank you.